and welcome to News Now. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today we are here at the Belmont High School to learn more about the POPs 50th anniversary. We're going to learn more from seniors and the teachers. So uh, what's the POPs concert? Yeah, so the POPs concert is our annual spring concert here at Belmont High. It's really a celebration of current contemporary music. Um, typically in our concerts we play more classical music, lyrical music, but the POPs concert is truly just a celebration of current music that's really uplifting and really exciting to listen to and play as well. Ellie, how long have you been playing and which instrument do you play? So I've been a member of the music department in Belmont since third grade. I started playing cello and then clarinet in fourth grade. And then I transitioned to tuba and band and I've been playing since fifth grade. How is the experience to be in the, in the band? The overall experience, my experience of the band program at Belmont High has been an incredible opportunity. I can say confidently that it truly has been a highlight of my career at Belmont High, just having the opportunity to walk in every morning and be surrounded by amazing people playing amazing music is just truly something that brightens my day. Um, it gives me a reason to wake up in the morning and definitely a purpose to pursue and just creating wonderful music with wonder wonderful people. Um, it just makes my day so much better. That sounds beautiful. And what will you say to the children in elementary? Yeah, I remember when I was a younger student, I would attend high school concerts. And I remember looking up to the high school musicians as if they're members of the Boston Symphony and being, and it was definitely something I aspired to do one day is to be able to play in the wind ensemble at BHS. Um, and I think now being in the position that I once looked up to, it's an incredible opportunity. Um, and the band program here has provided me with so many wonderful events and opportunities Opportunities, and I've gotten the opportunity to play with world-renowned musicians and work with amazing clinicians. Um, so I definitely say stick with it, keep practicing, um, and just continue through high school. It's truly an incredible opportunity that I encourage everyone to take the risk and try. with Miss Alison Lacaz. Welcome. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for being here and interviewing us. This is the 50th anniversary of Pops. Tell us what it's all about and what are we expecting? This is a huge celebration. These two nights of performances by our band chorus and orchestra students will just be featuring light music, a lot of film music, um, Typical pieces that you'll hear um, might be a little bit on the more jazzy side for the band, um, maybe some Broadway tunes from the chorus. It's a chance for us to celebrate a lot of diversity in our music and give the students some chances to um, just give the audience a different taste. It's, it's less of a classical music concert and more of um, just letting the audience celebrate uh, lighter music as we culminate the school year. We have such a rich music program in our mm -hmm. school. And why two days? And what's why is divided like that? Well, we have a lot of ensembles here at the high school, and we want to give the chance to each of the ensembles to show who they are. And if we did it all in one night, it would be hours long. So um, the first night is for our symphonic band concert orchestra and a cappella. And our second concert um, will be the wind ensemble, the chamber orchestra, and uh, the B. BHS chorus, um, and we'll feature the jazz band on the second night as well. So it's just a chance for us to play full programs and give the audience um, two nights of music and uh, a chance for the kids to actually come and support each other too. That's really important to us. So the parents can come to the two nights mm -hmm. because it's going to be different. Absolutely. There, nothing will be repeated from one night to the next. So what is the special uh, song that you're looking forward to? 
So for the symphonic band, we're actually right right now as we're doing this interview, the kids are rehearsing um, a theme and medley from Guardians of the Galaxy. So for us, that's really great because it's about six snippets of all of the songs from the score um, or the soundtrack of that movie. And um, for the wind ensemble, we're actually doing a medley from La La Land. And it was a student suggestion this year, and it was a great one. So um, we're really looking forward to that. We just interviewed Ellie, one of the seniors. And uh, can you tell the students and the parents why people should join the music program. It's a huge community here. Band, chorus, and orchestra, modern band, all of the other ensembles that are offered outside of school are little communities and families within themselves. Um, this is where we see students truly form friendships that last a lifetime, families as well. Um, it's, it's a way for students to be expressive and artistic and uh, take at least one block of the school day um, doing something for themselves. Um, it's really a wonderful opportunity to be in a class for four years and really make bonds with people over a four-year arc. And um, for us, it's all of the experiences that we have on stage but off stage. The rehearsals are just as important to us as teachers um, in these programs. So for anyone that's thinking about should I join? Am I good enough? We're a public school music education program, and we hope and, and firmly believe that every single student in this school deserves a music education. So um, anyone who is interested in being a part of a community and a family and creating something that is so much bigger than themselves, um, we hope that you consider joining our programs. That's right. Can you invite uh, the community what days and times? Absolutely. Both concerts are at 6.30 p.m. on Thursday, April 25th and Friday, April 26th. And they're here at the Belmont Middle High School Theater. Jen, uh, can you tell us the importance of POMS and what it has been doing to our uh, schools? Mm -hmm. So POMS is just a little bit over 50 years old. Um, so it's been fundraising for the, the music program in the Belmont schools for a very long time. And we fundraise through activities like this POPS concert, which is our big ticket event for each year. But we also raise money through the Snack Shack, which is the concession stand at the football games. We raise money through an annual appeal. Um, and we also have a lot of great uh, corporate donors um, that do donate to us. So we're very fortunate to have a lot of people in the community who really appreciate music and the arts in Belmont. And so we were able to take that support and really help um, augment and strengthen the music program in the schools. So when the teacher wants a clinician to come, that's when pumps stand up. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There's a mix of things that we fund. So we might fund clinicians, like you said, or guest artists that come in. For instance, um, coming up, we have um, the uh, annual jazz night. We have a very well-known um, baritone saxophone um, jazz legend who's coming in um, to work with the kids. And um, so clinicians like that, conductors who work with the kids and special clinicians, some we funded um, recently. Um, a clinician who's coming in to help the students prepare for their MICA competition. Um, and then we also fund equipment purchases that the school budget doesn't cover. So recently we bought pianos for three of the elementary schools. We've bought coral risers for Chenery. Um, and we uh, helped to fund the, um, the equipment for the new modern band program that started a few years ago. So we're very proud and happy um, that we've been able to support these needs in the schools. Thank you for your, the work of POMS is doing and in, the enrichment they provide to our children. <laughs> here with Meredith Knopf, another senior from the orchestra. Welcome. Yes. 
Thank you. <laughs> so tell us, what instrument do you play? I play the cello, which I love doing. <laughs> and since when? Um, I've been playing for since third grade, so I think 10 years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. And how you love this experience? I love playing cello. It's such a beautiful instrument, um, and it's taught me so much like musically, and it's allowed me to connect to so many people and make so many amazing friends through music, which is awesome. As you I love. Kaylin, she's the Curs director. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We are learning more and more about the Pops concert. Can you tell us what you're looking forward to it? Oh, I'm so excited. Um, our choral program this year is doing a really fun program. We're doing an ABBA medley, so we've been rocking out in class to three songs by ABBA. Um, we're doing a song called Crowded Table by the High Woman, so we're exploring some folk styles of singing, which is a little different for us. Um, and something that we like especially that's pretty different is we're doing Wannabe by the Spice Girls, but it's set as an English madrigal. So we're learning how to sing in the madrigal style, but a pop song. So very different styles. It's fun to explore our voices in new ways and just have fun with the music. Yes, and it's the 50th anniversary how it, the experience has been. Yeah, I mean, we have a really strong group um, of kids that we see every morning and, you know, it's, it's such an essential part of our school to, to bring music and to bring music to the community. And so being able to have um, a marker of a 50 year celebration, I think makes it especially um, prominent for us to say like, this is what we do. We're so excited to, to bring an anniversary to the town and um, bring what we've been working on. So I'm excited to be able to acknowledge that. What will you tell to the students in elementary and middle school about your program? I would just say, like, if you, if, you, if you have a passion for music or if you enjoy it, like, stick with it because we're really lucky to have a, a really awesome music program here. Like, I was in middle school, I actually was in orchestra, but, um, the, and the teachers are really, into, like, really um, involved and they are just very happy to, like, to teach anyone. And it's, we're really lucky to have a good music program here. And this is your senior year. Yes. What are you looking forward to and what are you going to miss the most? Um, I'm looking forward to continuing my education and I also guess with my music education, like making music with new people. And I guess I'm going to miss the people here as well and um, like my classes and my teachers. We learned so much about the Pops concert, the 50th anniversary. Don't miss it. April 25th and April 26th. The tickets you can purchase are on the website in the bottom of the screen uh, to support our children and see all the fun they are having with the music program. That was it for today. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. See you next time.